Hello everyone, welcome to this Sims 3 house design video. So today I'm here in Plymouth Isle, a world that I created completely from scratch. You can check out that series on my channel. But today I'm building a beachfront house that I've called a beachfront bungalow because, you know, it's a bungalow style house. Um, this house is built on lot 87, so there's going to be a downlink in the description below, so if you want to add this to your own game or to your own save of Plymouth Isle, you can uh, check out the description and download the house, and yeah, so, so it's for lot 87. Um, so yeah, this house ended up being a bit bigger than I anticipated it being. Um, it, ends up, it ended up being a five bedroom, um, three bathroom house that costs, uh, I think, about 130,000 simoleons. So yeah, definitely a little bit of a larger house. Um, than the other ones kind of in this little like beachfront area. Um, but yeah, it's a similar kind of style to some of the other houses that I have in the world already, like um, Walsh Way, which is from last week, and um, Contemporary Cottage that was from a couple months ago. So like those houses have the same sort of kind of gable roof with like the second floor kind of underneath the gable um, and that kind of style. So yeah, this house is kind of similar in uh, kind of similar in form to those, but is a little bit different. Um, you know, the rest of it's kind of different. Uh, but yeah, so right now I'm just kind of working on that roof right here. Um, this house ends up having a carport, which you can see um, over here. Uh, I don't know, like some of the houses in the world I've been doing carports. I don't really, I haven't really done that before until like some of the more recent houses I've done. Um, but yeah, I think it's kind of like a good, uh, you know, intermediate between just having a parking spot just outside and like building a whole garage. So I thought that it was kind of fitting um, for this house. But yeah, you can see here, just getting the roof on that. Um, kind of has like an open roof. Um, so like there's no uh, walls there on the side or anything, no ceiling really. Um, but yeah, anyway, here you can see I'm getting in um, a dormer. So just a little dormer right there. Uh, and then there's also a balcony that kind of is um, over that front bay window, which I thought was nice. That was kind of the way I pictured the house in my mind. Um, but then of course I made the front like three squares wide, like it's a three square center. So I had to um, find, I, I wanted like a double door there, but I had to do like a single door because of that, um, uh, it's just the spacing there, but that's okay. I was gonna have it like inset, but then I changed my mind and didn't do that because the lighting was all weird. So I ended up having it uh, just on the uh, you know normal wall there. Um, but anyway, yeah, so this house, um, I quite like it. It's, it's again, like a lot of the other houses that I've been doing in the world kind of has like a little bit more of like a, you know, older kind of dated vibe to it, but like in a way that I think looks kind of cool. Um, Cause you know, it's not like a new modern house. Um, but yeah, it's very cozy, even though it's quite large. And I think it turns out quite nicely, but yeah, you can see here, I'm just getting um, some more roofing on. So it's like this little area over here, which I had to adjust because the roof just wasn't working so well. So I had to make it a little bit smaller. Um, so yeah, just doing that here. Um, so like a little shed dormer there. And then I think I actually make the lower area smaller as well. So yeah, I'm just like doing that now. Um, I was also considering having a second fireplace on the side of the house. Um, you can see that like extra little bit there is kind of intended to be for a fireplace, but then I decided against doing that. Um, but anyway, you can see here looking for a place to add the stairs in uh, just because these stairs uh, are going to be kind of funky with the small second floor. But anyway, down here, this is the master bedroom with the fireplace and then the master bathroom is right off of it. Um, and then there's going to be a little entrance area, which I add in later on. Um, and then there's the main living room uh, in the front. And then there's a couple bedrooms off to the left side. And then the dining room and kitchen are in the back of the house. Um, there's actually three bedrooms in the first floor, but one of which I use as an office. So I make the house like technically five bedrooms, although you could, you know, use that office as a sixth bedroom. Um, so it is quite a large house. You can see just the first floor here, just that, just the plan here is quite big, um, you know. So yeah, but you can see anyway, just looking around uh, to do some stuff here. But yeah, upstairs, I was going to put three bedrooms upstairs, but then I decided not to because there's already so many bedrooms in the house. So instead, I decided to have like a second living room upstairs, um, more of like a bonus room and then only a couple bedrooms upstairs. So yeah, I mean, technically, if you wanted to add more bedrooms on the second floor, you could probably fit another two uh, bedrooms on the second floor if you wanted to get rid of that living area or just make the living area smaller and there's still room for another bedroom. Um, so yeah, it is, it is an expansive house. But anyway, here I am just adding in some windows or just a few initial ones there on that front bay window. Uh, for this balcony up here, it's a little bit challenging to find a door that fit well, like I mentioned. What I ended up doing was actually using these two windows in that door and then putting an archway 
over the door that kind of it made, it made it like a little taller so it was like level with the tops of those windows um there's a little tip there uh, you can use move objects to place archways over doors to you know change the shape of the door if the door is kind of like too short or something like that which this one was too short so i use that archway there to uh extend the height of it a little bit but anyway here uh staying in the front door there the front door is actually on the side of that uh on that side wall there um it doesn't actually face the front um, and now, <clears throat> excuse me, um, but now I am um, just going to get in some trees here. So I uh, just got some trees uh, in the front there. I wanted this house to have like a little bit more um, trees and kind of lush landscaping than the other ones in this area did because like the house right next door, um, which is Coastal Cape Cod, there aren't too many plants and trees and stuff, but I wanted this one to kind of contrast that a little bit. I also put a fence, like a partial fence, kind of around the front yard, which I thought was kind of nice, even though it doesn't really serve much of a purpose. It's not going to keep anyone out or keep any like pets or anything in because, you know, it's only just across the front uh, there. But anyway, getting in some windows and doors around the rest of the house here. So yeah, just some windows and doors around the back of the house, getting in some stairs for the uh, back porches and stuff. Um, and also switching those out to be foundations and getting in some railings as well. Um, yeah, also getting a car there in the carport and also then some windows for the second floor. So just going around the house and getting those in. So just various windows uh, around the house. But yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much it for windows and doors. Um, this house ends up being um, covered in like the wood uh, shake siding that I've been doing with a lot of the houses in this world. Um, you know, it's a very kind of New England looking uh, style. Um, this house, I do it a couple times. I don't actually settle on it the first time around. Shocking, I know. Um, like at first I went more for like a brown tone, but then I ended up making it just gray, um, which I thought was a little bit nicer. But anyway, I guess we're not going to get into that for a little bit. So right now I'm just putting interior doors in, um, so just some various doors uh, just around the house, of course. Um, I do actually split up that living room uh, in the front into like a living room and like a separate entrance to the house because the living room is actually quite big um, and there was like this awkward space between like the couches and like the front door so I thought I might as well add like a little separate vestibule there which worked out pretty well and then it made the living room feel kind of more comfortable um, but anyway here I'm just getting in the kitchen right now so just some ba a basic layout for the kitchen um, which is kind of in this funky um, shaped uh, area of the house here so it's kind of like uh, two L-shaped pieces there, but yeah, the kitchen's right there. The dining room is right next to it here, kind of in one open room, and um, and then the living room is there, right down the hallway. Uh, but anyway, yeah, there's, I was going to put the TV there, but I didn't like the way that you could see the back of the TV through the front window. It was just kind of annoying, so I decided um, to put the TV on this other side of the room. Uh, but anyway, this is the master bedroom here. I'm just getting in some basic furnishings here just to get a good idea of the layout. That's the laundry room right there by the stairs. Um, that ends up being right off the front entrance. Um, but anyway, just adjusting the fencing there. And I was going to put like some walls or something, but it just didn't fit right. So I did not end up doing that. Anyway, here I'm coming in with the um, pavement for the driveway. So just getting that in um, kind of just around the carport area. So that's pretty nice. And then I'm going to also get in a front path, which I actually change um, later anyway, so I actually ended up making it, I think, the brown stone instead of the gray stone. So yeah, but you'll see that um, a little bit later on. Anyway, here I'm going in for some stone. I actually changed the stone later um, to a darker stone because I thought it looked better with the uh, siding that I ended up going with. Um, but yeah, anyway, just getting the foundation covered and all that kind of stuff. Also getting some railings on the stairs. Um, and yeah, I think we're going to begin on the exterior colors here. So you'll see I cover the whole house. Um, I get that like all done and then I'm like, nah, I don't like it, which, you know, it's, it's just the way it is with a lot of these houses. Um, I end up changing my mind, but yeah, so I'm just gonna, you know, have to go through and change it all a little bit later. But I mean, not that it looked wrong, like this color. I mean, I guess it's fine. Um, looking back at it, like it looks fine, but I don't know. For some reason, it just, I wasn't satisfied with it. So I decided to change it. I also went for more of a white, or is that the gray? I don't even know. I don't know. I don't think that's the gray because um, I went, th I remember doing the whole house over twice. So yeah, anyway, just doing that here, just getting that all over the house. So this initial uh, color here, which is so similar to the color I ended up going with that I can't even really tell that it's different. Well, I guess a little bit, but you know, um, anyway, here, just doing a little uh, cleaning up there under the roof. Um, and yeah, I guess I'm looking at it now and I'm not satisfied. So there you can see it's now more gray and that's what I ended up going with. So just changing it all over again. Um, yeah, 
but this is the final color, so that's exciting. Uh, yeah, it ends up being gray, um, so I think it looks pretty nice. It looks kind of like more weathered um, and like less like new and fresh, so I thought that it kind of worked pretty well with the house. Um, but yeah, just doing that everywhere, um, getting that around the house. Um, and yeah, so there it is. And then there I changed the stone to be the darker stone because I thought that looked a little bit better. And then on the columns here for the carport roof, I decided to just use some white paneling there, which kind of matches the window trim and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, right now I'm just going in and getting in some columns, getting in the wood floors in the main part of the house, which I change out a few times. Um, I went through, through a few different options for that, but yeah, just looking through different ones here. Um, I do use parquet uh, wood floors throughout most of the house. And then also for some of the more main rooms, like the living room, dining room, master bedroom, I used um, some like nice wood detailing on the floors as well, uh, which you'll see is something that I've been doing in a lot of my houses of late. Um, but anyway, here just adjusting the color still for that. And yeah, so here's where I'm talking about like adding like the details in. So like the corners have like this little like diamond shape. And then I kind of went around the room um, using like this uh, pattern. So yeah, it kind of just lines the room. It's kind of nicer. So yeah, um, just doing that. And I left a little gap there for some tile by the front door, which I later enclosed that area. Um, but anyway, the dining room also gets that treatment and as does the master bedroom. So yeah, it just makes it look a little bit more detailed, kind of fancier. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it for f uh, flooring right now. But yeah, here's where I redo this front pathway because I just thought that the gray was like too blue. It just didn't seem to fit the house right. So even though the house is gray, it, it has like a warm tone to it. So I thought the warmer colored uh, front walkway worked a little bit better. But anyway, I think the kitchen, or I don't even know what room we get around to first, perhaps the kitchen and dining room. Um, so yeah, the kitchen ends up being um, blue. So uh, I went with blue cabinets and um, white countertops. And again, it's supposed to be more like a dated look to it on purpose. Uh, so I'm just kind of going through getting those colors in. Um, also that like a little railing thing there by the half wall. Um, don't worry, I don't leave the floors that uh, shocking of a color, but it ends up still being like a dark gray and uh, blue um, pattern tile. So you can see I'm just getting that in. Um, and then the appliances are like black, kind of dark gray color. Um, and yeah, kind of contrast the white counters nicely. Also getting in a couple columns here just to frame the entrance way into the kitchen. And right now I'm just getting in um, the wallpapers for the dining room and kitchen. So yeah, kind of like this off white color, this yellowish creamy color on the walls. And then in the kitchen, there's like a, a tile backsplash. So you can see that there. Um, but yeah, so that's the kitchen area. Um, the dining room is pretty simple. Uh, we just have a simple dining table, also a, um, a china cabinet there. Um, and yeah, so I'm just recoloring the um, cushions on the chairs right now and just recoloring the seats. Um, and then I'm also going to get in just a few small details. I think I come back later as well and add in a few more things um, at that point. Um, but right now I'm just getting a little bit of a curtain thingy to go over the um, over the window there in the kitchen. I don't use that window very often. It's kind of a funky window um, that like protrudes out. Um, but I thought it kind of worked with this house. So I thought, why not throw it in? Um, and then for the master bedroom, which I think is kind of what I'm going to tackle next for the most part. Um, yeah, I put it on the first floor. It also is the only room with a fireplace, which is kind of interesting. Um, and I think the color scheme in there ends up being kind of green and yellowish, um, which I think we'll see in a moment. But right now I'm apparently doing the stairs. So that's fun. Uh, recoloring the stairs there and then the railing up at the top. So there you go. Um, and yeah, so I think that's that for the stairs. Um, and then also under roof area, uh, recoloring that as well. And, um, oh yeah, also the decks and on the outside. Um, so I'm recoloring those and, uh, and, um, the stairs and stuff. So just, uh, doing that. I think I actually tweak the color a little bit because it's a little bit too saturated for my taste. So I decided to tone it down a little bit. Um, but also getting in some more trees as well around the house. Um, I like, in, like kind of in, um, what's the word? I kind of like intersperse, I guess, some landscaping in um, while I'm doing the interior. So here I am doing some landscaping stuff on that outside of the house. Um, so yeah, just getting in some bushes and stuff and some flowers and things just around the front. Um, again, like I said, I wanted there to be more plants and stuff at this house than the one next door. So, uh, you know, 
uh, it is intentionally supposed to look a little bit overgrown, um, but not too much, but just like somewhat. Um, so yeah, just going through here and yeah, adding those, all that kind of stuff in, um, and then kind of around the back here, um, again, an air conditioner, um, there in the carport. And then also like one of those little electrical boxes, um, by the kitchen there, but yeah, just getting a few more things, a little tree right there. Um, which actually moved, so there it is. And yeah, recoloring the mailbox as well, because I guess why not? Um, and then a few more plants and stuff, but oh yeah, and here's where I kind of recolor the deck, so um, all the decks and stuff, so just doing that right now because um, I wasn't a huge fan of how saturated the color was, but I think that looks a little bit better. Um, but anyway, back in the inside here, we're going to tackle the master bedroom. So the master bedroom has a fireplace, like I said, it's kind of in an interesting place in the house. It's kind of like um, separate from the rest of the house, you know, it's kind of like just off the entrance there, um, has a nice fireplace, the only room in the house with a fireplace, which is kind of interesting. I did want one in the living room, but I think it worked out fine without it. So anyway, the color scheme in here is kind of like a green, like a bluish green, and then like a um, kind of golden yellow color, um, which you can kind of see here. But anyway, I'm just kind of getting in um, all the colors and stuff. There's the fireplace, getting in the colors on that there. Um, so just going through some different options here. Um, you know, going through some different color schemes. I was looking for the right kind of stone to go on uh, the fireplace there, but there we go. And uh, what's happening now? Let's see. I'm going to get in some lights. That's always helpful. Uh, I think I got in the Tiffany lamps in this bedroom, like the stained glass looking lamps. Um, I guess we'll see in a second, but I think I remember doing that. Yeah, because the colors on those lamps kind of worked really well with the colors in this room. Um, there's also a nice TV there over the fireplace, so your Sims can watch TV in bed if they want to. Um, and I'm also getting in some curtains here that are green as well, kind of match the room a little bit. Uh, so yeah, just putting those around the space. And also a nice um, wardrobe there as well. And also here's the closet um, for the bedroom. So yeah, all the bedrooms in the house um, have closets. Um, like all the houses I've been doing recently. Um, I just like to have that as a little detail, but just recoloring the clothes in there. And I'm also going to get in a rug in here as well um, with the uh, same kind of colors that, you know, the uh, rest of the room has. So I'm just going through some different options here, looking through the colors. Um, yeah, looking through different things. I think it ends up being more of like a kind of neutral toned rug or not, I guess, oh, I guess maybe do I make it golden? I don't know. We'll see here in a second. Um, I also can tell Crota style is kind of lagging a little bit uh, for me, but, um, oh, it's green now. Oh no, yeah, I don't think I do the, oh yeah, there we go, that's the rug. Um, I guess it is kind of golden in color. So yeah, anyway, here just getting in some plants and stuff. Um, on this wall, I think there's gonna be a piece of art, perhaps, that would make sense. Yes, there we go. Uh, so just recoloring the frame on that. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for the master bedroom. Um, this is the master bathroom. Um, the only thing that's kind of missing is a bathtub. There wasn't really a great way of fitting it in um, with the layout of the room. Well, I guess I could have, but you know, I didn't. So that's whatever. Um, but anyway, you can see here, uh, just getting in um, a little bit more of a dated looking tile. Um, the toilet is kind of like a cream color along with the sinks. Um, but we do have dual sinks. The shower is kind of like in a little nook there. And then I get that floor in to really, you know, uh, drive home the dated look, um, but it does match the bedroom colors. So there you go. And I'm also getting in a little hand towel there between the sinks and also one over by the shower. Um, so yeah. Uh, and then also I put a blind on the window because that window looks right out to the carport. So I thought it would be kind of better to, you know, offer a little bit of privacy for the bathroom there. But yeah, also getting in some rugs in here, which of course will match the bedroom rugs. And uh, yeah, that's it. So anyway, over here we have a bathroom on the first floor for guests and stuff, um, or for the other people in the house. Um, so like the main floor bathroom, um, this bathroom goes with a very green color scheme, um, as you can tell already just by that counter and then by the um, color of the tub and the toilet. Um, so yeah, definitely going in with the green there. And then I get in this tile floor here that's kind of gray, and then the walls are more green. So plenty of green um, in this bathroom. Um, but yeah, you know, kind of going again with the dated look here. I've um, got like dark green tiles, and then I'm also getting that on the bathtub uh, back there. And then, uh, yeah, just getting in the details here. So getting in, you know, the towels, toilet paper, got a mirror there. Um, also some more hand towels over here. Um, it's recoloring those, also getting in the rugs uh, as well. So just, you know, 
tweaking uh, tweaking those rugs, getting having an ivy pattern there, which is fun. Um, you know, goes with the green the green look for this bathroom, but there you go, that's the bathroom. Um, anyway, we're, I guess we're back in the dining room here for a little bit to add some details in because I didn't fully finish it yet, um, but we have a nice painting there, um, a little bit of flowers on the table, also uh, some ivy in the corner there, a, a, a smoke detector and a burglar alarm as well, also a little trash can in the kitchen, uh, also a little rug there under the sink in the kitchen as well, so just uh, recoloring that. Um, and then I also think I got a little bit of soap or something on the counter, uh, which we'll see hopefully in a second. Um, there it is. So yeah. Um, and I don't know what else I, oh, I put in a medicine cabinet in the master bathroom, um, because I thought that was, uh, kind of nice to have and also some more lights. And I think that's pretty much it, uh, for the kitchen dining room. Um, and then here's the laundry room, which is a pretty simple little room. Um, it's very small. I was going to actually make this a half bathroom originally. Um, but then when I ended up putting, um, uh, bedrooms on the first floor, I was like, well, there should be a full bathroom on the first floor. So I decided to, uh, use that as a laundry room instead. Um, but anyway, also getting in a little, um, chest table, not chest table, actually it is a chest table, yes, getting in a chest table there um, in the living room, and as you can see what I meant from what I was talking about earlier with the living room, it is a larger room, and like the space over here by the front door isn't like, it's not too strange, but it did feel like a little empty, so I thought that I might as well um, kind of separate the room into two uh, spaces to have like a more distinct entrance way, which I also thought was nice because it made the entrance a little bit more formal, um, as opposed to just walking right into the living room. Um, but yeah, you'll see that in uh, a few moments. But anyway, right now I'm going in for some curtains here. Um, as you can already tell, the living room has a blue color scheme to it with the kind of blue walls. Um, I went for some gray curtains though, and um, I'm also gonna get in some coffee tables in here. Um, but there's plenty of seating. There's two three-seater couches, and then there's also a uh, armchair by the TV. So um, yeah, you can easily seat seven Sims in this room. Um, which is good because it is a big house that has, you know, plenty of bedrooms and stuff. So lots of people could live here. Um, but anyway, here, just getting in uh, just some colors and stuff. I have some nice angled bookshelves in the corners there, which I quite like doing. Um, and here I'm just recoloring the chess table uh, and the chairs for the chess table. Um, oh yeah, here's where I separate the room up so you can see. Um, that just kind of makes more sense in my opinion. And then I got a nice big archway in. And yeah, I think that kind of is a good way of... Um, making the two spaces more distinct. Um, anyways, getting in some more lights here in the living room, uh, recoloring the rug here, so getting a nice rug, um, which ends up having a blue color scheme as well. So yeah, just doing that. Um, and yeah, also the hallway has a nice mirror there. Um, and I'm also gonna get some things on this table here behind the couch. Um, also a little clock there in the corner, a light there over the um, chest table, also some plants there. Um, but yeah, I think that's mostly it for the living room. Um, I'm also going to add in a yellow horse, no worries, that will show up a little bit later. But anyway, there's uh, some clothes in the closets for these two bedrooms down here. Um, so this first bedroom is kind of meant to be more of a guest room. Um, so yeah, it's, but it also could be like a teen's room or something, but um, it is uh, the largest of the bedrooms besides the master. Um, so it's kind of like the only bedroom that's, um, like that would be like a guest room. Um, so anyway, here you can see just going through what colors I want to use on the bed. So I ended up going for um, that kind of more orange um, bedspread. And then it's kind of like a burnt orange. And then like a cream color for the pillows and stuff. And uh, yeah, just getting in uh, some nightstands here. I'm also going to put in some other things, getting in some lamps, that's always good. Uh, and yeah, so just going to, you know, add some stuff in this room here. Um, just also making making the closet match with a little chest of drawers there uh, and also a mirror um, by the door to the room um, and yeah I don't think there's much else room for many other things in this room but I'm also going to get in a bit of art there on the wall um, also some curtains of course which kind of match the bedspread um, and then I'm also going to get in uh, something on this wall as well so just looking for a bit of art there so yeah this room is kind of more of a generic room um, not really geared toward any specific sort of occupant um, which is why I kind of more consider it the guest room uh, but anyway there's the rug and then also this closet here just recoloring the clothes rack um, and then over here is kind of more of a kids room or teens room um, it's right next door so yeah this room kind of has more of a blue green color scheme to it so i was getting in the wall color there uh, and also the carpet as well 
And yeah, this is a smaller bedroom than the other one, as you can probably tell. Um, and this is actually kind of more along the size of what the other bedrooms in the house are like. Um, so even though the house does have a lot of bedrooms, they're not huge bedrooms. Um, so, I mean, you'll see upstairs, the upstairs bedrooms are pretty small. Um, but anyway, here, just looking for uh, some sort of bedspread. I ended up going with this one, and I made it kind of more of a blue-green sort of color, um, which you can see I'm doing right now, which I thought was kind of fun. Um, so yeah, and then also just going to get in some other stuff in this room. So there's your little nightstand and a nice little lamp on there, and then also a little alarm clock, and then right there is a uh, dresser, of course. And then I also ended up putting in a couple beanbag chairs as well. Um, so just getting those in and uh, yeah, also some posters on the walls, of course. So just doing that, um, you yeah, just kind of getting those around the room. Um, and yeah, uh, some curtains on the wall, of course, as well. Um, or just a curtain, <laughs> there's only one window. Um, and then yeah, just getting in some other things. So we're back in the living room here to add in the yellow horse. There it is. Um, so whew, at least that's in here. No worries. Cause I do forget it sometimes. Um, and then here we are in the bedroom again, just adding a rug in, but yeah, that's it for the bedroom. And then the final room on this floor is going to be the study, um, which of course this could be a sixth bedroom. Um, it is also a pretty small room though, as well as you can see, um, you can't fit a double bed in this room and have both sides function as well. But yeah, uh, this room has a nice desk in it. Uh, it's also a computer of course. So, you know, it's a study. Um, and yes, a little chair. I also put in an art easel in here as well. Um, so if your sims want to practice their painting skills, they can do that. Um, so, you know, and also of course a bookshelf, you know, it's a study. Um, yeah. And there's the art easel, uh, and also guitar. So, you know, just some different skill building items in here, um, which work pretty well. I mean, I think that's a good, it's a good use of a study. Um, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I put a chair in as well, but yeah, other than that, I think that's pretty much, um, it for the study. So just going to do some curtains and stuff, a rug as well, of course, um, you know, getting in that coloring. Um, so just looking through, getting in the exact right color there for the rug. Uh, there you go. And then also, of course, yeah, the curtains as well, but yeah, that's it for the study pretty much. And we're going to move on now to the second floor of the house. So, um, like I said earlier, uh, the second floor has a quite large living space. Um, so, uh, but actually we're, well, we're gonna do the bathroom first, but then I think we get onto the living space. Um, but you can see it, it's very open up there, but yeah, you can see lots of room here. Um, so there's like a TV cabinet, uh, a couple couches, also a stereo and then a foosball table. So yeah, it's kind of a nice bonus room, um, there on the second floor. So yeah, you know, very good multi-purpose space, uh, which is nice to have. So anyway, here I'm just doing this bathroom here. This bathroom is more of a grayish, bluish color scheme. Um, so yeah, but also has a tub shower and then the sink there. So yeah, it's getting in the details in here. So just the towels and things like that, towels, toilet paper, all that kind of stuff. So just getting all that in. Uh, also some blinds there for the windows as well. Um, and yeah, I think that's mostly it for this bathroom. Also gonna get in, of course, some little rugs, uh, little mats on the floor. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for that bathroom. So, uh, yeah, this main room here, um, just a good extra space to have. Um, there's, you know, seating for four there at the TV cabinet. Um, kind of like an older looking TV there, of course, and, uh, just recoloring the couches and stuff up here and also the cabinet there. And, um, yeah, of course the foosball table as well. Um, I also get in a couple bookshelves as well. Um, nice bit of art there, I guess. And also getting in some curtains here. So just plopping those in over all the windows. Um, nice amount of windows though in this room. It's a very big room. Um, that's good. So there you go. And also some sconces on the walls for a bit of extra light and then, um, some rugs as well. So just getting in some rugs there. Um, it's a couple, uh, one under the foosball table and one, um, by the couches here. Um, but yeah, just recoloring that a little bit and, um, yeah, also getting in some plants as well is actually a good amount of plants up here because there's a lot of natural light. So I thought that, you know, it would make sense to have some plants, uh, in this space. So yeah, just doing that. Also a little chair in the corner there because, you know, why not? Um, you know, it's a nice little area there to sit down, I guess, if you want to. Um, and also a little plant there, of course. Uh, but yeah, so that is most of this, mostly the space done as uh, a bookshelf. There is also a bookshelf over there, but yeah, there you go. Um, so this bedroom up here is in our kids room. Um, it has a balcony. It actually has the front balcony there, um, which overlooks the ocean, which is very nice. Um, but yeah, you can see this getting in, um, 
a four poster bed there. This room has like a kind of uh, red and uh, red and um, blue color scheme. Um, so yeah, it's getting the wallpaper in here. Um, so yeah, there you go. Also the carpet. So putting that in as well. Um, and uh, yeah, also getting in a dresser. I was gonna put in a desk, but there wasn't really enough room for like the desk to work with like the chair and all that. Cause um, so I decided, yeah, I decided just to go with the dresser and then the little chair um, next to it. So there you go. Um, made that blue, I believe, to kind of match the bedspread. So that kind of plays off of that. Um, so there you go. Yeah. Anyway, so there's that chair. And then, of course, posters in this room as well. So just getting a variety of posters um, in the room. And then I'm also going to get in uh, some clothes in the closet, of course, um, as you'd expect. So yeah, there you go. Um, and then I'm also going to get in a rug there um, uh, under the bed. So yeah, just... Um, you know, recoloring that. Um, so yeah, um, but that's mostly it for this bedroom. Um, pretty simple uh, bedroom. I don't remember what color I make the rug. Not that, that's for sure. That was kind of horrifying there. Oh, just kind of a more simple, um, more neutral color there uh, for the rug. And then also some plants there. Um, and what else? Some toys and stuff in the room. Um, so yeah, just getting some of that kind of stuff in. But um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, for this bedroom, also getting in some curtains, of course. Um, so just recoloring those. And yeah, um, and the last room to do is actually a toddler's room or like a nursery. Um, I know I don't do this very often, so I thought I might as well do it in this house. Um, so we have this like a butterfly. Um, actually, it was going to be butterfly wallpaper, but I didn't end up using that. Um, so we have this kind of more florally kind of wallpaper. Um, and there's the crib. Um, also just going to get in uh, some different colors on that um, as well. I think I went for like a flower pattern there, which is kind of nice. And yeah, also a rocking chair in the room as well. Um, which I'm recoloring, and I got a small chest of drawers in here, I believe, next to the rocking chair, which we'll see in a second, probably, um, but yeah, there's also the closet there, of course, which doesn't really make entirely, doesn't entirely make sense, um, but, you know, because it's a toddler's room, you can just imagine it's toddler clothes, um, and not, like, full-size clothes in there, uh, but yeah, just doing a few little bits of art and stuff, getting some curtains on the windows in here as well, um, so yeah, just kind of along the back there, um, but yeah, uh, and I think I do a few more things in this room, so I'm going to get, oh, it's a phone there, um, I'm going to get in, um, I think some toys on the floor, um, and then also I get in, um, uh, some sort of art there, uh, over the, uh, crib, just something, I think a freezer bunny, uh, image, uh, which we'll see maybe in a second, there it is, um, but yeah, so there you go, um, that's actually the whole inside done, which is exciting, so we're going to do some more landscaping and stuff, and then I think that'll be it, so yeah, this was a somewhat longer, um, house build, um, definitely a larger house than I expected, um, but yeah, I think it turned out pretty well, uh, I added a fence down here along the side of the carport for no, you know, no, like, no, that wasn't necessary, like, no good reason for that, but I don't know, I like, I liked it, so whatever, um, and then just some more bushes and stuff, um, around the house here, just around the carport area, around the trees and stuff, um, and then, of course, coming in with some terrain paint as well, so always, it's always nice to have that bit of dirt terrain paint kind of underneath everything, adds that extra little bit of detail, so, yeah, it's going around doing that, um, going around underneath all the different flowers and plants and stuff, um, and then also under the house as well, I painted all of that dirt underneath, um, but yeah, we're nearing the end here, so I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, I'd greatly appreciate it if you consider subscribing, of course, you can watch the series where I created this world, um, on my channel, and you can watch a bunch of other house design videos like this one as I work on building all the houses for this world as well, um, but yeah, so if you enjoyed, I'd really appreciate it if you consider subscribing, uh, and make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, and, uh, yeah, I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments below. But, uh, oh yeah, and also you can download the house, link in the description below, and uh, this is for Lot 87. So, yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, there's some screenshots coming up in a few moments, so I hope you stick around for those. It gives you a bit of a closer look at the inside of the house, you know, without, without uh, everything moving around so fast. But, yeah, so before we move on to those, just a few uh, final touches here, just some outdoor furniture, um, and I'm kind of getting around the house, um, and also recoloring the van in the driveway. But yeah, I also got a little light, which I thought was nice, like a little outdoor um, light by the walkway there. So there you go. That's kind of a nice little detail. Um, and yeah, and just a little dining table out the back but and a grill. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you all have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you in the next video.